Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new series that I'm gonna call Make It Happen Mondays. And they're essentially just gonna be a series of videos where I share hopefully really practical tips and tutorials on how to actually make your content happen. So today I'm gonna to talk about how to sync your audio and video in Final Cut Pro. Because if you're like me and you record your audio and your video separately, then you've probably come across the fact that it can be pretty tedious to sync them up. So I'm gonna share two methods of syncing audio and video. The first is the manual method and then the second is the automatic method which is way easier all right so here we are inside Final Cut Pro and I've got my two pieces of content I've got my video and then my audio now one thing to note is to make sure that you record audio onto your video file so it doesn't have to be amazing audio you can literally just use the onboard microphone that you've got in your camera but there just needs to be some audio attached to the video file so that you can actually line them up in post so let me show what I mean so on this file if I play it back plays having the big screens being able to work in whatever environment. that's got my onboard camera microphone audio recorded and it's really low quality it's not ideal but then I've got my high quality audio recording recorded with my Rode pod mic and the first thing that I noticed was the screens and and you can hear that's just way higher quality. So the first method is the manual method. So if I click on my video clip and my audio clip, holding down command to select them both, I can then just drag and drop them into my timeline. And if I zoom out, I can see I've got both the clips in my timeline. All I have to do is drag my audio clip underneath my video clip. And then if I zoom back in, you can see they're roughly aligned with these waveforms. You can see that the two are roughly synced, but if I play it back, it's gonna sound quite out of sync. I tried the Quest 2 a couple of years ago. So obviously that's not ideal. And to help us see it even more clearly, you can go over here to this little drop down menu and press this button here. And that will make the waveforms appear larger. You can even scale it up more using this slider just so they're really big and obvious and we can see exactly where we're out of sync. So from here, pretty much we just have to visually line them up. So I might just scale this down a bit and then zoom in some more. And we can see this is roughly where I start saying this in the video file and then this is where I start saying the same thing in the audio file. So if I just drag it, I can visually line them up like that. And if I play it back now, and I've been doing video editing as well as general. You can tell that's pretty good. And now once I've lined them up, I can just disable the audio on this by clicking and dragging on the little line. And then I've just got my microphone audio, which is what I want. Now, what you might find is that this can be a little bit finicky trying to get into the exact right spot. So let's talk about the automatic syncing method. So if I just delete this and then I go back to my media inspector, if I click on my video clip and then again, hold down command and select my audio clip, what I can do is is right click and go to synchronize clips. And the keyboard shortcut is option command G. And then this little pop-up will appear. And all you have to do is select use audio for synchronization. And it's essentially just gonna analyze the audio from your video file and then the audio from your audio file and sync them up automatically. Essentially like what we just did manually, but much faster. There is also an option here to disable audio components on AV clips. And what this means is that once the two clips are synced, it's gonna disable the audio on my video file, which is what I want. So I'm gonna select that. And then I literally just have to click OK. Give it a second to synchronize and another clip will appear in your media inspector called synchronize clip. And you can tell it's a synchronized clip because it's got this little link icon up in the top left corner. And all I have to do now is it just treat it like a normal clip. Just click on it, drag it into my timeline. And if I play it back, and hype around the Apple Vision Pro. It's got the high quality microphone audio. If you do want to later go in and edit the original video audio, you can just double click on the synchronized clip and this will pop open the two original files. And then if you want to go back to your original timeline, just hit this little back icon here and this is back in the original timeline. So there you have it. If you're interested in more advice and tips on how to improve your content quality, then make sure you subscribe to my newsletter, Create Better. There's a link in the description. Other than that, if you're interested in my entire editing workflow in Funnel Cut Pro, then check out this video right here.